वेलकम टू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल विजुअल बेसिक फॉर एप्लीकेशन ट्यूटोरियल बेसिक टू एडवांस्ड वीडियो सीरीज दिस इज द चैप्टर वन वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल हुएर आई एम गोइंग टू कवर व्हाट इज वीवीए व्हाट इज मैक्रो हु शुड स्टार्ट लर्निंग वीवीए एग्जांपल्स ऑफ मैक्रो एंड वीवीए प्रोजेक्ट्स इनेबलिंग द डेवलपर टैब एंड सेविंग मैक्रो इनेबल्ड फाइल्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स लुक इनटू व्हाट इज वीवीए वीवीए स्टैंड्स फॉर विजुअल बेसिक फॉर एप्लीकेशन which is a programming language developed by Microsoft. The major use of Visual Basic for application is to automate the repetitive things, create custom functions or the user-defined function, and develop the applications. If you see in the Developer tab of Excel, there you see Visual Basic. When you click on this, a new application window is opened, and here you can see different tabs are given like File, Edit, View, Insert, Format, etc. Within each tab, there are different toolbars. And here in the VVA window, we can write the programming language for task automation, creating custom function, and developing the application. The next topic is what is macro? Macro is a set of instructions that is written in VVA language. Suppose that if you have to do a task in Excel time and again, then you can automate that task by recording it. Once you record, the recorded task will be written in a programming language. There are two methods of creating macro. One is by using the macro recorder where you don't have to write the script or language. Microsoft Excel will automatically generate the language while you record it. The another method is you can directly write the language by going to VBA. The next topic is who should start learning VBA. To start learning VBA, you should have the basic knowledge of Microsoft Excel, like how to use the formula and functions, how to use different tools available in these tabs, how to enter the data and how to format the data. These things you need to learn first. After that, you can start learning VBA. If you are completely new in learning Microsoft Excel, then you can watch the Microsoft Excel for beginners video tutorial. The link is provided in the video description below. If you are from programming background, then it will be easier for you to understand VBA. But if you are not from programming background, then it may be little difficult for you at the beginning phase. But once you understand all the basics, then it will be more interesting and easy to learn for you. Next, look into the examples of macro and VBA projects. For that, let me go here in the sheet number one. And here I have automated a task by using VBA. In this sheet, I need to generate sales reporting format. And here, if I click on the home tab, in this my tools group, there is a tool that is make format. If I click on this make format, here a sales reporting format will be automatically generated. Let me click on this cell, then click on this make format tool. Here you see a sales reporting format with the serial number, product name, the store name, is given. This task is automated here by using macro. Let's go to this sheet number 2 where I have to convert these numbers to the old format. In Microsoft Excel, there is not any built-in function to convert the number to old. But here I have created a function by using VBA to convert these numbers to in old format in the US dollar currency. I can press is equal to then type here spell there you see spell usd function double click on this then click on the number close parenthesis and press enter here you see the number is converted into old format and this function is also developed by using visual basic for application the another example is i am going to show you here one application that is developed by using vva let me open this and here you see open inventory management template is given. If I click on this button, our application will be opened. Here you see this is a stuck in out tracker and management software. Here you can see different control buttons are given. And this is also created by using Visual Basic for application. So these are the examples of what we can do by using VVA. The next is enabling the developer tab. To properly use VBA and macro function, we have to enable the developer tab. Here you see the developer tab is given. 
but in your excel you may not see this tab to activate or enable this tab click on the file tab go to options then click on customize ribbon and here you have to mark this developer tab then click on ok the developer tab is visible here click on this now here you see the visual basic is given here the macro is given here there you see the record macro option and here you can see different tools related with this developer tab so this is how we enable developer tab the next is saving macro enabled file to save the macro and VBA features in Excel, you have to save this workbook as a macro enabled workbook. Here I have already saved this workbook as a macro enabled. Let me go here in this folder. Let me change the view as large icons. Here you see this inventory management template is a macro enabled file. So here you can see this logo. It means it is a macro enabled workbook. If I create here a normal workbook by going to new then Microsoft Excel worksheet here you see the normal worksheet looks like this. This is the normal workbook and this is macro enabled. To save this normal workbook is macro enabled first of all open it. To save this click on the file tab click on save as here you have the file type list from this choose this Excel macro enabled workbook then click on save button now the macro enabled version of this workbook will be saved here you see the new microsoft excel worksheet has saved as a macro enabled file here you can see the macro logo is given and the extension of this macro enabled file is xlsm if you check in the view tab then click on this file name extensions here you see the workbook that has macro is given as dot xlsm and the normal workbook has the extension of xlsx so this is all about the basic introduction to microsoft excel visual basic for application in the next chapter we will learn recording macro use of relative reference running the recorded macro editing the macro and assigning macros to button and toolbar if you want to explore more in Microsoft Excel, like how to use formula and functions, how to create templates and Microsoft Excel tips and tricks, you can visit the channel's video page where you will find different tutorials on Microsoft Excel. And to learn Visual Basic for application, basic to advanced, you can visit the playlist page and open the VBA basic to advanced playlist. Thank you so much for watching. See you in next chapter.